This is just a little informational video on a lunar eclipse that's going to occur December 21st, 2010, um, just shortly after midnight. And uh, we're going to take a look at the visibility map here. The entire lunar eclipse is going to be visible across North America. That's the main region where we're going to see the entire eclipse. So all of U.S., all of Canada, and Greenland, Iceland, all those islands up there, Mexico, and Central America, all seeing the entire eclipse through the entire duration. The eclipse will be visible at moon, moonrise over here in uh, Asia, over here in, uh, yeah, East Asia. Eclipse will be visible at moonrise. Now, of course, up in Arctic Russia, it will be all of the eclipse. And there will be a eclipse at moonset with at mm, Europe. All most of Europe is uh, at the moonset, and uh, far western Africa. Um, all of South America will see it at moonset. Basically, when it's uh, seeing it at moonset and moonrise, that basically means that not all of the eclipse will be visible. Just part of it will. And unfortunately, most of Africa and parts of Central Asia will not see the eclipse at all. They're just out of luck there. So that's your visibility maps. Here's the timing of the eclipse. The very, 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 very start of it, which is, um, which the very start, you can't really see that well, but uh, it occurs at 527 uh, converted universal time, which um, if you need help converting the time, I can do that in the comments. Just leave a comment for your area. Um, when you can actually see it, which is U1, that's the contact. This is where it just begins to push into the shadow. Um, will occur at 632 converted universal time. And then... The point where totality begins, this is when the moon goes completely in the umbral shadow, will occur at 7.40 converted universal time. Greatest eclipse where the moon is the deepest into the shadow is at 8.16 converted universal time. It, uh, totality ends at 8.53 converted universal time. Um, the moon comes back to full at 10.01 converted universal time and the eclipse is completely over at 1106. So the entire duration of the eclipse is eight hours. Um, the penumbral time will be the longest, five hours and 38 minutes and 22 seconds, which you can't really see the penumbral. It's very hard to see the penumbral part. Partial eclipse will be three hours and 29 minutes long and totality is one hour and 13 minutes. Totality is the best time to see the eclipse because the moon looks all cool. So this is the passage of, what, of the moon. As you can see, this is that umbral shadow. Can't really see it when it's going through that. Then once it hits this, this little inner shadow, that's when you see it. And then when it goes completely in, it turns a copper color. I've seen it happen. It's pretty cool. Um, just give a, just a little thing here on paint. I'm not the best drawer, so, okay, let's say this here is the Earth's umbra, or the umbral shadow. Okay, this is the penumbra. The moon, this is during a normal full moon. Let's say the moon's right up here. Oh, man, I suck at drawing. Usually the moon on a full moon passes just above or also just below. That's the normal passage of the moon on full moon. Whoops, I kind of drew into it. Normal passage. During a lunar eclipse, this is what happens. The moon's kind of lower or higher than normal. And it goes, it does this goes right through the center like that. And that's what we'll see. So, have any other questions? Please leave a comment on my page. Thank you.